He's got one. Well, I said in the last vlog we were going to do some rams and it was going to get a little crazy, and it did. Uh, tell you how it worked out. My son-in-law had five rams he had picked up at an auction about two weeks ago. So they got quarantined for two weeks in a separate pen. And I didn't show loading them. They loaded real easy. They went right in the trailer. So we got those in, brought them to the front pasture where his ewes used to be, dumped them out there. And after that, now we went back and went for the other six that he kept in a separate pen. Took these two at a time. The first two were a little interesting, especially that big Texas doll ram. That one I had to kind of help my son-in-law with. He was having a hard time getting that one up there. But got those two in. We drag them through, take them out where we got a trailer, throw two in a trailer, and then we had to come back and get the last four. Get him in the corner. Rush in and grab two. All right, they got him. Here they come back. Time for me to get busy. <laughs> I'll close this and I'll come get this trailer gate for you. Right. No, don't drag. I'll help you. That guy got big. Didn't he? Last two. Here they come my way. They came back. He's got one. <laughs> Last two's are the worst, huh? Hang on, Red. Well, I tell you, I'm... Nope. Oh. oh, he walked all the way through it. <laughs> grab him, grab him. <laughs> Got him. All right, coming my way. Now it's the last two. You got Blondie? Blondie? Just got red. Well, we got the rams done in the morning. We came back after lunch and started working on my son-in-law's ewes and lambs, separating out the ram lambs, getting everybody shots and vaccinations, and the ewes were a lot easier than the rams. All right, there's all our boys and girls. We're gonna take the rams out and they'll go in. If you bought a sheep record book, that's the one that's on the cover. <laughs> Come on, Katie. Come on. It's a lot bigger now. <laughs> Go 
ahead and give her her shots yeah. and shit. I don't want to have to hold on to her for that one. I'm well, fucking I, roasted. Well, I can hang on to her while you grab that one. I'll just hold this one. You grab that one and bring her. Hold on. Ready? Well, I'm going to give her shots and shit. Okay. Say hi to camera. Yes. <laughs> Little baby. Little baby on the camera. Oh, yeah. Little heart. You're going to have to come down and be with my little babies yeah, for the litter. Yeah, heart who doesn't have a heart anymore. Yeah. I don't know what happened. She had a little heart when she was It's still there a little bit. Yeah, it just is a little... It's growing away, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a broken heart now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's like a little Come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. Oh, oh Blackie. Oh, oh, oh. Calm down, baby. Almost went over the top. Got her? She's full of piss and vinegar. Yeah, she's a good girl. You look good, honey. You did good. Ready? So, with that big job done, and all those moved around last weekend, I can move on to my next project, and that is getting this pasture ready for my ewes. I mentioned in the last video, I wanted to move over here with some ewes, but the rams used to be right next door, and I didn't want to put the ewes next to the rams. Now that the rams are moved way down there, I'll put a short fence across. We'll have a buffer zone between the two. Shouldn't have a problem. But what I'm doing out here right now is protecting trees. Now, these are nothing fancy for trees. They're basically volunteer Chinese elm trees, so there are nothing much to them. But they do offer some shade. And I'll tell you what, you put sheep out around trees, they will strip the bark off those things in no time at all. You'll have no trees if you don't protect them. So I bought a 25 foot long piece of flexible four inch pipe. And basically I ripped it lengthways. I'm cutting them to length. I'm wrapping around the trees. I'm not gonna save them all, but I'm gonna put this on some trees, see if I can protect a few. And maybe I'll get a few saved and they'll at least have a little bit of shade when they're out here. Especially if we get weather like we've had this last week. We've had like 10 days of 90 degree weather, first of June. That's not normal for us in Nebraska. All right, I got one more thing came up this week. Let's go back up by the barn and I'll show you that. Well, a week ago I was in this pen. I had a ewe and 10 wean lambs in here. And I mentioned at that time I had somebody who was buying a ewe and two of the ewe lambs. So that was going to leave me eight. And she did pick those up last Friday. So I had eight left. I had uh, six rams, two ewes that were left. And that was all from the March lambs that I just got done weaning about a week or so ago. Well, I didn't know what I wanted to keep, what I wanted to sell. Now, let's do this thing. So I just put an ad in on a Facebook group for all eight of them. Put them all in there, and I figure we'll see what we sell, and we'll see what we end up with. We'll just kind of go from there. Well, I don't know, 10 minutes after I posted the ad, somebody got a hold of me. And by the time we went back and forth over the next hour or two, he bought all eight. He wanted them all. He took them all. So I have no more wean lambs left. <laughs> they all went gone in two days. They were gone and out of here. What I got left, I have five lambs out there yet with those ewes. Those are the May babies. They're all ewe lambs. So right now the plan is we will save them all. I'll keep all those back. I still got two ewes out there, the mouflons that have not lambed yet. So we still might get something else. But for now, we got five. We'll save those. Born in May, they're not going to be old enough to be thinking about breeding this fall, so I'll have a pen separate for them. And that little black and white paint that you saw me holding from my son-in-law's, that's a May baby where the rest of his lambs were all March. We'll bring that one down here and put that one in with mine next fall when we're doing all the moving around. So, and we'll get into all that. I'm going to, next week or two, I'm going to show you the, all his rams. We're going to get some video of all of his rams. And at that point in time, we might start talking a little about, okay, who are we going to use for breeding? Who's going to get bred to what ramps? But that we'll do next week, week after, however it works out. For now, I wanted to show you what we did this week. Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.